Hi, this is Wes with RigRents. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go through some of the functions of our TR series machines that we have available for rent. Uh, we're actually going to go through the actual functions on the joysticks and what they do, and also the level depth indicator, which is your indicator for your plumb and the depth that you're drilling in your hole. So join me, we're going to go outside and get in the machine and test everything out. First, we're going to show you some of the functions on this on the level depth indicator. This is the Bayshore Systems level depth indicator. Right now, you can see the target angle is set to zero, and we're actually at point or negative 2.6 feet. Um, the way to change that is you're going to go press this button here and hit the reset depth. Now, what I always do is put the tool on the on the ground, so we can go and do that right now. Put the tool on the ground. And then you're going to come back to here and reset depth. And as you do that, you'll see that the depth is now zero. The one thing that you're going to need to do also is set your target angle. So right now it's setting a target angle um, of zero degrees, which is, is perfect. And in all real world settings, there's no way we can ever get to a perfect uh, setting but we'll get close to it so our target is now within half a degree which is acceptable so um, and you might have different different choices that you want to do as well um, you could do you know within one degree uh, it just depends on the job that you're doing but uh, typically 0.5 or half a degree of straight is good then you're gonna hit save and you're good now and you can see that the change has happened at the target depth so, as you can see too, the little bubble is off. So how do we get that bubble to the middle and setting green? Well, there's zooms on, on this function as well. You'll see this little thing here. You wanna hit this to say, and that zero, that little arrow, arrow or the target is one, two, and three. I always set that to that because these are basically one, two, and three degrees uh, off of plumb. Um, what you're gonna do is then use the joysticks and make sure and get this into the plumb zone. So right now we're a little for, far forward, so I'm gonna use this joystick on the left. I'm holding the red button down to activate excavator mode. And I'm going to bring I'm going to bring this guy back and you can see it's come come back a little bit. I'm still going to bring him back a little bit more while holding just a little slower. See how it turned green? That's kind of where you want it. You can kind of fine tune adjust. And now uh, we're just a little off of center. So we're going to have to use the same joystick so we're gonna use this joystick over here and we're gonna hold the red button at the same time and making it excavator mode and we're gonna bring that to the right a little bit you want to follow the location that you want to go and there it is maybe a little, little bit more right there so now we've set the level depth indicator and we are good to go.